them of the rookies. Oh, wow. well, Team Luna like so what they've got. They know what's going on. Oh my god. Because again, it's Telegraph. You chose oh a kill to go up against the Ling and right now. Oh my god. Quiet. Oh this my is gonna god. be our first blood. First blood on the Yamichi. A very Telegraph. You, you know, oh my god. Yeah, you know, you, you know, yeah, I, I, I could be wrong. Yamichi or Yamichi means every day in, in, in Japanese. So he's just doing this every day. And here's the thing, right? Homeboys, you're being a little bit too obvious. You're picking up the Hilda going up against the Ling. They know what's going on. They know what's going on. And now they're fighting again. The Jeet Kundo on the two members. Aimal, though, gonna be pushed out. He does still secure the little Wanderer, though. Honestly, that first play from Lunatix, it seems so smart when you think about it. I'm kind of surprised more teams don't do that. It seems so obvious. Yeah, right? right? It's like, they're probably coming here, right? Yes. We probably can kill them, right? Yes. And then they did. Yeah. You know what? Sometimes it's the easiest We're answers. really being caught <laughs> off guard here. <laughs> no, honestly, it's like, sometimes the easiest solution is the right solution. So maybe that's the problem with most of the teams. Yeah. They're overthinking it. Yeah, maybe so. Sometimes a simplistic look from newer players may be what you need to bring a fresh perspective to the MPL. So far, Team Lunatic still going to be slightly ahead. Cyphal has been actually not doing a bad job of disrupting Amal, but because of that first kill, courtesy of the entire Lunatic's team, it's going to be a little bit harder for him now that the Ling has hit level 4, already got both his buffs. GB doing a fair bit of damage here, but it's not going to be enough as well. Yeah, right now we can see Yamichi clearing the lane, trying to run away. He has level 4 for side of homeboys. They don't have quite enough crowd control to handle a late game link, so they do have to pick up the pace. But again, it's going to be a very, very difficult situation. Sopai doing a lot of damage on to Rain, but Rain still has his black shoes. Goldilla goes in back Ooh. into the fight, focusing on to GB. Amal is on the turtle. Goldie looks taking quite a lot of damage, but it is okay. The turtle is still going over for the team. Lunatics Yamichi might sacrifice his own life. Sopai is going to chase after it. The same thing I've said about Saifu and the kill is going over to Bang. Now, but all of this is actually time wasted. You can see how well Team Lunatic splits up the fight and uses Goldie Luck to just distract people for objectives. If we look at the emblems, once again, full damage coming out of Team Lunatics. They have two killing sprees and a high and dry as well. So they're not caring about defensive options. They don't mind if they die as long as they take someone with them. I don't mean this disrespectfully, but the way that they're playing is like Ooga Booga, you know? It's like, yep. damage, damage, go, go, go. And you know what? I'm changing the way that, that, that I play this game. I'm I'm, 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 I'm changing. I, I swear I'm changing. Right now, Yamichi is trying to zone on him as well as bang out. Chibi is there. Chibi is doing quite a lot of damage. Sapai coming in from behind, focusing on Ooh. to Min. Min is taking quite a lot of damage. The flicker has been used. Yamichi has to retreat as well. Goalie, look, it looks like he was planning to do something, but they're going to go be a little bit passive for now. That was actually a really good eye for an eye from Sabat. He got a stun on both Rain and Mint at the same time. It's just that homeboys were too far away to follow up on it. Otherwise, that would have been beautiful for the homeboys. Just a little bit unlucky there. But right now, Saiful going to be continuing to disrupt Amal. Not sure if he's going to be successful, though. Here comes Yamichi and Goldie Luck. Yeah, Saiful is doing the best that he can to disrupt the farming from the side of Team Lunatics. But again, this is a situation where it's being a little bit too obvious. He is doing the right thing. It is his job, but his job is made difficult just because it's telegraphed. Homeboys, they need to put a little bit more pressure on the side lanes to make sure that none of them could roam or they just got to put a lot more people with uh, the Hilda to actually do something. Chibi Ooh. taking quite a lot of damage and he is able to escape. But look at Amal. Amal is thinking about it, but it looks like he's oh, not going to go forward. And Yamichi, yeah. The, <laughs> the wall. The wall was not kind to you, my good sir. Uh, but again, throwing away his life means that Team Lunatics can take another turtle. Sepa not going to be able to contest. Chibi already chased back. So they are still accruing a slow net worth lead by taking these objectives. If we look at the gold ranking, mid at the top. A nip actually not too far behind. But other than that, Team Lunatics are in control. 
But yeah, looking at this game, looking at all the lanes, I feel like this is the bigger advantage just because Lunatics is winning the side lanes, making it so that for the side of homeboys, Anip as well as Supply can't really help out anyone. And they're focusing on to Anip. Anip is taking quite a lot of damage, but it looks like he's still surviving. Chibi managing to get killed. We're on to Rain on the behind, but looks like they're going to delete Amal. Bye-bye. You got to go back into your base. And homeboys, now they have the kill advantage. A slightly bit too greedy there from Team Lunatics. They tried to make the play when Amal did not have his purple buff, meaning that it was a lot more difficult for him to actually kill a Nib. And because of how much time it took, homeboys were able to get a very good trade down there. Yeah, it looks like, at least for Goldie Look, he's building a little bit differently because before this, he had the Blade of Heptasis, but then he followed up with an Oracle. For this game, probably not. Maybe he's going for a Malefic Roar just to make sure that he does a little bit more damage on to Spite with this Vendetta. Yeah, I think that's probably the case here from Team Lunatics. You'd think that in this situation where homeboys are actually more even than last game, they would want to play a little bit more defensively just to be safe. But no, defensively doesn't seem to be a word in the Lunatics dictionary. So right now, they're just going to deal with more aggression as Eiffel jumps in, gets stunned by Mint. A nice way of the dragon, but right into the enhanced chain by Bang means that Yamichi has to leave. Yeah, I would say it's probably not the way of the dragon that he wanted. He probably wanted to push him back into the turret. He actually pushed him away, so it was actually good for Saiful. And right now, Bang managing to get onto Goldie Lung, and that's actually quite a lot of damage. I think even Bang is like, yo, that was more damage than I thought. Yeah, that's the power of the enhanced uh, Scythe right yeah. there. I forgot which weapon it was for a moment, but yes, the enhanced Scythe does a lot of damage. But here, Mint in a lot of danger. Flicker not going to save him. A nice dive from the homeboys. Lunatic's not ready to Respond. Yeah, looks like they're a little bit <laughs> well. Looks like another kill is going over to Chibi. I feel sorry for our observer. He's having a difficult time actually focusing which which part of the map that he has to look at. Yeah, homeboy is doing a very good job now. Since they do have this Hilda to buy a lot of time in the back line of Team Lunatics, they can go around and pick off weaker members of Lunatics around the map. Now they're going to be contesting the purple buff. It looks like Amal is making the call. Just give this away to them. Sifel gets it, a strange decision, but okay. I think it's more of a, like a, a panic situation because they did not have true vision on where on where Amal is, so he could just all of a sudden fly over and use the retribution. So it doesn't matter who took it, just just take it. Right now, Amal has Berserker's Fury, so his burst damage is going to be a lot for the side of homeboys. They need to start to focus who will be their target. So they're doing quite a good job. And I got to say, Saibul and Bang, they've been working together quite well because every single time Saibul is there, Bang is there to follow up with the enhanced chain. And then everyone just, just collapses forward. Homeboys with a thousand gold advantage and Bang completing his Shadow Twin Blades. He's going to have a lot of burst damage right now. Anip, Bang, and Saifu, they're waiting for anyone to, to make a mistake. Look at the positioning. They're trying to use Anip as a form of bait here, but Team Lunatics is not biting onto it. So not going to be a fight right now. Lunatics know they are behind, so they're actually playing a little bit safer. Goldie Luck going to be the target. Raging Sandstorm gets the stun onto Chibi, but he's losing a lot of HP. Quicksand Guard going to keep him alive as Sifal gets the final hit, and they won't actually be able to pick off anyone. Mint dying on the other side of the map as well. They'll pick the shutdown off on the Hilda, but the homeboys are getting a lot of advantage here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of advantage, but it looks like it's not stopping Ben. Tried to go on to Amal. Yamichi is there, but looks like everyone has different priorities. That was a good kick, but no one's going to follow up. And Bang uses a flicker trying to get Rain, but he is punished. Sapat tries to run away. Sapat tries to fight back, but look at the damage that he has. Ah, oh! Unfortunately, that was a bad flicker. All it hit no one. That's unfortunate. He would have been able to get the kill onto Amal as well. So Team Lumen takes actually bite back, and that's surprising. It makes the fact that they actually ignored the kick from Yamichi look intentional. They went and cleared up the midway before following up on the kill on the Julian, and it still actually worked out. Yeah, right now, looking at the AI winning position brought to us by McDelivery, it looks like it's 1% for homeboys, but uh, I gotta say, that was quite the misplay from homeboys because Bang used his flicker, Anip used his flicker, but it kind of looked like a situation where if you did not use your flicker, you might have actually hit your skill shots. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate for the homeboys here, but they are still in a very comfortable spot. They see Goldilock is in the top lane. They can contest this Lord. They know Amal doesn't have the purple buff. Yamichi going to be targeted. The TB picks up the Lord. They are jumping with the Tempest of Blades, but they're not going to find anyone here. Goldilock finally joining the party, but it's a bit too late. 
we got to look at the difference from game number one and game number two. So, but on this Benedetta, the, the KD is only 0-1-1. One, and, one, and I was about to say good things about you, but then Goldie Look deals a lot of damage. I'm just saying, maybe this is the reason why Homeboys is doing so well. Because looking at Team Lunatics, they're moving way slower compared to game number one. Yeah, the increased mobility and presence on the map from Sapat as well as Saiful easily opening up the map is giving Homeboys a lot of tools. The Way of the Dragon onto the Hilda. Actually not going to be followed up on Ooh. Raging Stamps or misses a nip with three quick shots. Going to take out the Khalid. Rain being forced to use the Black Shoes as Saiful going to get taken out by mid. Meng jumping in. GB gets the Mega Kill onto Rain. Amal going to run away in the opposite direction, leaving three members of Team Lunatics alive as a nip slowly whittles down the mid tier two. This is the Homeboys we were looking for in game number one we saw glimpses of it but right now game number two three thousand gold lead on it is having an easier time to actually deal out the damage either with the renner or the wesker and chibi Full respects on this guy, Honest Paquito. Last season it was a putt. This season it's going to be Chibi. Yep, they're going to take down all of the external towers at once. And right now, Team Lunatic is not quite able to play the style they are known for because they are so far behind. They will clear up the Lord before it does any major tower damage to the inhibitor. But Chibi at the bottom side is demanding a lot of attention as well. Lunatic's forced to reside in their base. Yeah, who knew Saiful on this Hilda? It's a nuisance. Especially, I like that he used his second skill to disrupt uh, Goldie looks when uh, Goldie looks when he's using his quick quicksand guard because. Usually damage does not do anything when he's in that form, but any kind of crowd control that moves him a little bit, even just a little bit, Ooh. it will cancel it out. And Yamichi is taking quite a lot of damage from Anip. As long as we're inside of Homeboys, they create this amount of space, Anip will finally be able to dish out the damage that he was destined to dish out. There. Well, this is definitely the Homeboys' power spike right now. They have full control. They are comfortable. Even a BOD on Chibi, that's usually quite greedy. They're going to run into Sifal in the bush here. They want to secure purple for Amal, but Homeboys, they know how much the Ling depends on this buff. They're not going to give it away. Yeah, and why would they, especially with I would almost say a, a really good respect, but at the same time, disrespect to Saiful level 1. Like, I, I kind of feel like Saiful has a bit of a vendetta against, against Team Lunatic. So he's like, yeah, you know what? Now we got a map. We're not ever, ever going to give you this purple buff. Take the orange buff as much as you want. This one, nah, I'm not leaving this bush. Make me. Force me. I'm going to stay here. Yeah, homeboys have just completely shifted up their playstyle as compared to game number one. They are now taking it slow, playing it safe. They know they have a lead. They need to maintain it. And they know that Team Lunatics is really good at these team fights, so they're not giving it to them. They're going to prioritize clearing up the waves, pushing them out, and going for objectives, hopefully zoning Lunatics away from ever contesting it. Yeah, right now, the Lord is up. It is going to be a Luminous Lord. I kind of feel like homeboys, as good as they are, at this Lord Tick, they really should use this as bait. Try to force out Lunatics to actually do any kind of crazy catches that they might want to do. Bail it out. You know, as long as all the, the, the crazy skills have been used, they can turn it around. But it looks like Team Lunatics, they're not biting. Homeboys, you can have the Lord. It's too risky. Good discipline from Team Lunatic since the wave was pushing up the top side. But this is very good for the homeboys. That is going to be a pretty powerful Lord at this stage of the game. And with no external towers, that means a guaranteed inhibitor, basically, unless Team Lunatics makes a major defense. Saifu, though, making it difficult for them to engage at all. Three people on the Saifu, but Saifu barely took any damage. Never mind. The immortality has been popping. It looks like he's going to be focused Ooh. down. The damage coming in from Ani almost takes down Yamichi. Yamichi still manages to oh. survive. We can't say the same thing for some, but immortality as we use. Chibi is there trying uh -oh. to force it out. And man, you've been stopped. Unstoppable for Chibi. They're forcing it in mid. Chibi already has the immortality. He's going on to Goldie. Look, Goldie Look taking a lot of damage. Look at Bang. Look at Bang. He manages to get a kill with the enhanced chain. What a performance here. At first, it looked like homeboys were overextending, but a beautiful eye for an eye catches out Mint and then Goldie Luck. They've already taken one in him. The Lord will break down another one in the top side. With only three members alive, Lunatics can't go in. They're gonna be kicking Saiful. He might die, but it's okay because they trade out for Yamichi. They trade out for Rain. The crystal is wide open, and the homeboys shall break through and tie the series one to one.